Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> Scusta Sorry. We just watched, uh, well, not just, but you know, a few weeks ago, we watched his sort of like a music video. Which his was, latest music video, which yeah. Was very enjoyable and it was awesome. And uh, amazing. One of the things that got requested a lot in that in that in in that video was Umasa, Umasa. Umasa. Umasa, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a double A in the middle. It's in the wish bus, and a lot of special and magical things happen in that bus. So I'm more than excited it's to like check it's it out. It's like it's blessed. It's like that that bus is like ready for magic. Dude, I want to spoil some of the stuff that's happening in the podcast. No, I don't want to. Hold it in, brother. <laughs> okay, fine. Jeez. Anyways, ah, oh, by the way, this uh, week's special. I think we're still discussing it, but I think it might be a Filipino dance special because it seems the dancing, as we noticed in one of his videos, is you know it's very it's very rich. So we'll be more than happy to check any of that stuff out. So if you'd like to leave your, your comments below of requests, we will absolutely please check do. them out. Yeah, please do. So this is Umasa live at the Wish Bus. <laughs> oh, the drip, sir. Excuse the style. Oh, there's no captions. Thank you. I'm sorry, I was so like blown away by that fashion. I'm going back. One sec. Sister. That is gorgeous. Look at that jacket. Umasa lyrics. English. I love that. Ah, oh, where can I buy one? So Umasa Umasa, Umasa. thinks uh, I think that means I'm thinking of you maybe. I don't know, but the beginning is I'm thinking of you every single night. Okay. We'll check our lyrics after. Yes. Yeah, the drip is immaculate. Oh, that's great. He maintains that thing he did in his. Yeah. He's got like a default effect in his voice, naturally. <laughs> Is that twanginess that's so natural to them? Turn it up, turn it up. That is blessed. Oh my <laughs> god, what a great song. Put it what back and turn it up. performance. Like, what the hell? I'm a fan, man. I don't know why, maybe because it's like the misleading image, uh, you know, you feel like uh, this this kind of look, this kind of swagger to it all, you would see this, like, especially from the last music, last music video that we saw, I feel like I have this really like, rapper forward, hip hop style type stuff. Dude, the vocals, the R&B, the, the, the heartfelt, everything about it is fantastic. No, I see. I'm, I'm dying to see what's the lyrics yeah. about. I see, um... I see it's just huge inspiration behind people like, you know, Usher, Neo, Chris huge, Brown. Huge, yeah. You know, it, it, the, you know, that sort of look where you're like, you know, it seems like you're hot on the outside, but you, you, you're you so in line with your emotions and you sing about things that uh, you just maybe, impact so yeah, much, maybe yeah. your look doesn't look like it, but it, that's the R&B Heart throbber that every woman <laughs> likes look. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree with that more. And what? That's clean as hell, man. Pull that back. That. Oh. Umasa. <laughs> Let's go. Fantastic! I'm a fan, bro. Oh, He's a wonderful! Judge. Who's he singing to? <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah. god! Oh, 
Brother, take my money. That's one of my favorite songs of the year. Oh, I agree with That's that. That's one of my favorite R&B songs of the year, bro. Oh, it's it's up there with one of my favorites too. I mean, we've got to, if, we've if we're got talking about a lot of R&B in this house. No, if we and if we're talking about Filipino R&B scene, rough. Oh, it's so it's rough. Hard, it's hard to pick things that have released this year or that we've discovered this rough. year. Hard. My, it's my, very hard. My favorite Filipino R&B song that came out this year was Bugoy's Impossible Love. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, and then this one has such a like Chris Breezy vibe and such a like, you know what I mean? You know what's uh, you know what I want to highlight here? Go ahead, go ahead. It, I keep saying Chris Bree or Chris Brown, but it, it's it's just kind of like... It's not a comparison. Nah, it's like nah. A... It's ob- he's obviously his own man, an accomplished <laughs> man himself. But it, I feel like this is so... It, it would be so uh, marketable for... So many audiences out there that maybe are into R and B and you know may not know about this type of stuff, and they'll be like, "What the fuck?" Regardless of whether you know the language or not. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. Uh, it's the chord progression. Yeah, Is what the chord are progression? Yeah, what what are, where are the chords? A A minor, a minor E. Yeah. It has a D minor, uh, then next one is G uh, major C. Okay. A7 and D minor. That yeah. A7 may is magical though. That A7 is that what gives you that really heartfelt, weird uplifting. Crunch of the yeah, heart. Yeah, is, is that weird quirk in the chord progression, you know? And obviously having on a minor key, it's such a... a, a suspension in D minor. Sorry. Yeah, that, that having it on a minor key, playing with those minor keys really gives that heartfelt environment really like really accessible. What I, I, what I want to like highlight in his voice tonality is that You know how we were talking a few days back about twanginess and how sometimes that can prevent the singers from freely going up and down their own range? Not a case for him. Not a single case for him. That does not apply to him whatsoever. And actually, it's like you said, it's like that natural sound effect yeah, in his got voice. Yeah, he's got a fucking, I don't know. It's like he's got an equalizer, his, yeah. He's got a plug in his throat. It's so cool. What a cool dude. I love that. So going into lyrics yes. uh, really fast. Talk to me. He says, I'm thinking of you every single night. Many nights that I couldn't sleep because of you. I'm waiting even on dream. By the way, how atmospheric it is that he's singing and the bus is moving and he looks out the window and he's singing an R&B song probably oh. to a lady that, that has crushed his heart. I love it. That bitch. That's why I'm just hoping. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping to you. Even there is no hope. I will wait patiently. Maybe you are ready. I don't want to love anymore. If it's not you, I have many plans for you. If ever there's no time, there's no time to be wasted. And now I'm asking if, is it a sin to love you? Uh, I don't want to get hurt from you. I already accepted, and even I have to force. It's impossible for us. So I'm guessing uh, Umas. If Umas is like if or, or hoping. Yeah, maybe that's why I'm just hoping. Let, let's it, let's Google translate it. Uh, umasa. Umasa. Trans. It means hope. Hope. It means hope. So right? I'm hoping. Ooh, what a track, Keep sir. Going, let's go, man. Dang. I'm pumped. <laughs> I love this guy, man. Me too. Oh, so good. What a special individual, man. He's got Chicago Bulls in his cap as well. <laughs> Does it? Bravo. Oh, l- listen to the equalization on the guitar. It's super old school rhythm and blues real to the core. I'm talking rhythm and blues that people used to sing in like the 18, like in 1947. That, that's the type of like guitar equalization. Can you hear it? That is so vintage. You know, ah. I don't know if people... It sounds like an electric Yes, yeah. yes, but it's equalized like you heard it in the old tracks in, you know, the 1940s. I don't like know if people old understand soul. like how much some like me and then Baleska like you enjoy R&B, good R&B, uh, R&B just... that plays with tempo, melody, and R&B that plays with the idea of 
of of drag complexities yeah. and in in a, a totally digestible and easy way to listen yeah, to bro it's, so it's genius it, there's no other genre that has this effect on your body you're like oh, oh. <laughs> i totally agree you know? and you're like connecting on an emotional level oh it's brilliant such an atmosphere mm. listen to that guitar listen mm. it's kind of like mm. south america like south of the north america type of like country style of music to the equalization of the guitar i'll tell you what it is new in orleans a i'll tell you what it is in a second. i just have to enjoy freaking that freaking brilliant oh, 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 okay. he knows himself really well Love the choruses as well. What a special dude. What a special dude. Because it's him. He's been him. Ah, oh, come on. It's so good. Yeah, he's him, man. Bravo, bravo. On wish. One oh seven five. That guy is so him. That's so weird to say, but he's so comfortable in him. He knows him. He knows his sound. He knows his story. Like, so, you know, it's we were talking about his self-discovery when it comes to music. It's such a key element. Yeah. And, and most people don't know themselves because they never like to go in this self-discovery journey. Not just musicians, anyone. Because it's a scary ass journey and also it requires time and it requires effort and it's a conscious choice. I know and it, it, it is, a, you know, I was reading a poetry the other day and it's about, it sounds awful, but like the meaning of life is suffering. So it's, it's being also open to suffer and, and understand suffering from a different perspective and your own journey in a different way. Especially if you're a creator, somebody that writes, somebody that paints, somebody that makes music. And and this guy's, I feel like, especially Skusta, Skusta Klee here, he's, he's got that. Like, he took that pain from, from, from being wronged in a relationship and made it into something beautiful. How, how, that to me I'd is always, to that, that to me is always going to be brilliant. I'd like, love to know his background, like where, or, or if maybe he's spoken about li the lyrics of this song and mm. what was the inspo behind and all that stuff, because that, that's a story worth hearing. Definitely, you know? absolutely, it's it's incredible. Well, let us let us let us know. I mean, it's obvious we've fucking blown away. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> let us know what you you know. What were your thoughts when you first heard it? And uh, what, what should we check out next? Please, for the love of God.